Hey everyone, Deltron here. Welcome back to Age of Empires 2. We're heading into mission number two of the Joan of Arc campaign. In the last mission, it was a micro mission, we brought Joan of Arc to the Dauphin of France. And let's get started. The Maid of Orleans. March 26th, Chinon. It is one thing for a band of dispirited soldiers to put their trust in a teenage girl. It is entirely another for that girl to be given command of the army of an entire nation. We were filled with pride when we heard the Dauphin's heralds pronounce Jean the Maid as commander of the army of France. So that she may look like a general, the Dauphin presented Jean with a great war horse and a suit of white armor. Jean instructed me to look for an ancient soul buried beneath the altar of a local church. I was skeptical, but not only did the men unearth a rusted blade, but we found that the sword belonged to Charlemagne, grandfather of France. I shall not doubt her word again. Still visible on the hilt was the fleur-de-lis. Jean adopted the fleur-de-lis as her symbol and had it blazoned upon her battle standard. Wherever Jean goes, the standard goes also. It goes with us to Orléans. The city of Orléans is one of the finest in France, but it is under siege by our enemies, England and Burgundy, and is about to fall. This war has dragged on for 100 years with precious few French victories. The people of Orléans need a savior. They are to get Jean Navarre. So she is no longer Joan the Maid. She's now Joan the Ark. And she has Charlemagne's sword. Joan must survive. The cathedral in Orleans must remain standing. Escort Joan to Blaus so she may command the French army. So we have to get there before it falls. Hurry to Orleans before the English cut can cause much damage. Be wary of the British forces south of the river. But don't forget to rendezvous with your army in Blaus. Okay. South of the river, once the supplies arrive in Orleans. You'll be able to build up your forces. Frankish knights are useful for taking care of British longbows and siege weapons. Okay, Frankish castles are inexpensive and provide excellent defensive. Use your market to trade for resources until you can venture outside the city. British castles have large garrisons. It is best to assemble a large attack force before attempting to storm them. Orleans farms are located west of the city, but outside of the city walls and vulnerable. Okay, and just, yeah, let's just get going. I am the Duke de Alenchon, my lady. I will proudly ride with you to Orléans. Okay, well, let's get up there before they can cause too much damage. It looks like we can only control these forces. And there's Joan of Arc. Uh, let me, so in the last mission, I put it on fast, but I've been looking around just on the forum, stuff like that, and people say normal is the way it's meant to be played. Can we, can we get the monk? No, he's just- Bon chance, John. Our city needs help. The British are coming. Yep, that's where I'm going. What are these guys? Oops, I need to shift click them. They are two-handed swordsmen. And... And yeah, we should be able to handle this, no problem. And then we can just... Oh, should have kept that scout alive. That's fine. This Burgundian rabble shall not stop us. Okay, we lost one scout. So I think the best way to do this is just, in battles like that, just A-click, and then you can micro-weaken units away. We lost a scout, that's not the end of the world. And now we just need to get to the city. Are these, yeah, these are the Blois. I don't know how to say that. Blois, 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 over here. So these are the farms that are outside the city walls. And I'm assuming we're gonna be macroing. Welcome to Bois, Jean of Arc. The army of France is yours to command. Okay. These are trade carts. Where do we trade them? Okay, we have a siege workshop. Do we just get control of these units? Oh no, these are the... This is the Bois along the way. We still have a ways to go. So again, I... Some people now, have been on to Orleans. We need to get those supplies past the British. Okay, army will hack you guys at one. Trade carts will be two. 
So people have been leaving very helpful comments. Uh, we have to get up there. So let's just go down the road. A oh, pretty large army. So people have been leaving very helpful comments and saying that uh, the max number of army units you can have in one hockey group are selected at once is 40, which is quite a bit. And we have lots of trade cards, which is going to be nice. I don't see them. Oh, we can probably trade with this market over here once we uh, get to the castle of Orleans. So let's just A-click. Click an area. I also changed my <laughs> attack move hockey to A instead of tab. The only thing that's going to affect is the aggressive stance. It's tab now instead of A. But I'm in StarCraft, I'm used to A-clicking. Warcraft 3, A-clicking as well. Blizzard, Blizzard likes to A-click, so... It's the only hockey I change. I also... I think that was the only hockey I change in StarCraft 2. I guess let's attack this group. It's along the way. And let's watch this happen. Yeah, in normal speed you can actually, like, kind of micro your units around. So, like, knights. Go attack the archers because they're gonna run away like madmen. And you guys come over here. Yeah. So the archers are annoying in this game. No, Joan, just you attack her. And then we should be able to just run by this thing. Uh, trade carts. Objectives have changed. Okay, what is our objectives? Uh, escort Jones Blas. Yep. And we have to bring all these trade carts, so let's not let any of them die. You can also dodge the attacks. Okay. Apparently not if you're trying to walk on water, but this is an enemy. I'm just trying to get through here. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. All these things have to survive. So just get across the river, guys. Lost some stuff. We have a pretty sizable army still is awesome yeah every time you a click they redo their formations i still don't know if you can turn formations off so if anyone knows that just please let me know in the comments but my plan is to release two of these videos a week so i'll probably play a lot of these missions like the future missions before i upload uh, i can receive comments so for example like the first video has been released already but uh you can see i also installed a mod so you can see idle villagers just pretty darn darn cool okay but well, we're here now let's go into hockey let's get wheelbarrow Jean of Arc has brought oh. our supplies now we can muster the forces we need to raise one of the british castles we have a lot of supplies all right, let's check our objectives. Convince the British to withdraw by destroying one of their castles. So they have two castles. And we just have to keep our cathedral alive. So either that castle or this castle. Should we just go? I mean, we have villagers. Uh, blacksmith. Let's get... Okay. First of all, let's check... So we're the Calvary Civilization. So we need to build a lot of knights. And farms are f have free upgrades. So let's just... So we get some villagers. Instead of to build up a sizable force, we'll probably need infantry. Uh, where is our mill? I'm still getting used to what the buildings look like. I'm not sure where our mill is. But it probably doesn't matter. Uh, we just get some upgrades. Uh, upgrade to man at arms. Oh, we're in the feudal age. Let's cancel these villagers. Let's advance to the castle age. So yeah, this is the mod that you can install that basically shows idle. <laughs> it's a very large explanation point for idle villagers, so you can see them a little better. Okay, we just want need to capture all this. It's a pretty large base. Okay, here's our mill. Let's build some farms. Might as well do something with these guys. And again, you can also just use the period hockey to select 
idle workers. Which is also pretty nice. There we go. And I think we're just supposed to do with what we have. I mean, we're very well fortified, so I don't think anything's going to be messing with us anytime soon. And then let's go ahead and hockey our production. Oh yeah, we start with two stables, which makes sense. And I think I'm not going to build anything else. So we can also get... Let's go ahead and get this upgrade. It's pretty neat so we can see your allies' vision. What they're up to, make sure they're well protected. And we're advancing the castle age. And we just want to get upgrades for our cavalry, mostly. And... Also, someone left a comment saying you pretty much always want to be uh, producing villagers until you have uh, enough to advance to uh, like the next age. Or until late game, you can actually kill villagers off so you can get more supply, army supply. So you can hockey multiple billions together. And I don't think tab working works, but what I'll end, end up doing is probably just hockey all my production to one. Um, and then... See, it's interesting. I have knights already. How do we move 10% faster? That's gonna be really neat. And then we just keep producing um, villagers. Just, a. just make villagers, and we'll just put them on farms. Queue up some farms. So here's, we have allies. They're not gonna be doing much. We could scout and see what we're dealing with. Are we gonna need siege weaponry? Okay, you make a farm there. Let's go with this guy. Can I make mon monks? No. I think just make... Um... Yeah, so they're going to be scouting. Let's also go see which one we should attack first. Or which one we should attack at all. Which one's less defended. I mean, again, we have a sizable force. I thought I hockeyed my blacksmith the three. So what I'm probably going to end up playing is just look what special upgrades each of our units have. I think we can just do this. I don't think we have to wait around at all. Uh, let's just get a couple more farms. Because yeah, I don't think we're really meant to build up. I think we're just meant to go with what we have. Let's get forging. I think the upgrades, yeah, they don't take too long, which is nice. Uh, I don't care about light cavalry. I'd like to get this upgrade. 250 food. I can trade resources as well. There we go. Not, still not enough food? Okay, that should be enough food. There we go. Let's get these upgrades and then... That should be enough. Hopefully. <laughs> to do this. What are there any more upgrades we can get here? Calvary. These are... Yeah, the ones at the bottom are... No, they're just different. Padded armor. Because there's not just cavalry, there's like... Archer cavalry. And infantry, uh, cavalry with that do melee damage. So a lot of different upgrades that you can get. I think just again get this upgrade. Or we just go and try to win this. It's pretty, a pretty short mission. This is Joan of Arc, mission number two. Again, you cannot see what I'm typing. Okay. I don't do that on purpose. Uh, it also said we could build castles. They're pretty cheap. Let's get a castle. See what our, our special unit is. There's also other mods that I have been that have been suggested to me, but I don't know if it's if it'll be worth it. Wheelbarrow, I think, is always worth getting. Uh, just queue up more, more farms. We can hockey our castle to six. Set the rally points for all our buildings. That should set all the rally points, right? Yeah, for all the buildings that we have hockeyed in our group. So there's other mods, like it shows the tech tree in this area here, but uh, I don't know how useful that, it would probably be useful. I don't know, let me know in the comments if like this idle worker animation, which is not showing right now. Well, the one you guys saw at the beginning, if that bothers you at all or not. Again, castles take a while. Let's help him out. Or help her out. Make this go a little faster. 
And then I say we just go. I don't know if the enemy is building up at all. But I guess we'll see. There's even another upgrade. <laughs> Handcart. I don't even know if that's worth getting. We can go ahead and get iron casting. Give them even more upgrades. But castles are pretty strong. Oh, and they have siege weapons. Maybe that one would be easier to take? But we have a pretty strong army ourselves. I think once we get our special units, things will be going a lot better. And also they haven't attacked us. If they don't have... This might be the easier one to take if they don't have siege. Now this one's behind a wall. So we're gonna go for the... We're gonna go for this one and just watch out. We'll have to just send cavalry to stand right on top of the... Uh, what am I trying to say? To stand right on top of the, the siege weapon. Throwing Axeman. Frankish unique unit infantry with a range attack. Attack bonus first buildings. That's fantastic. Okay, well, we're being attacked. They're not going to last very long. And I think it'll be time to go attack pretty soon. We can also repair buildings. Yeah, I remember this. It's pretty easy to dodge. Like tower attacks. Uh, infantry would be pretty good. Oh, cavalry have plus one armor. Normal and pierce armor. It's going to be great because I think this says piercing damage. Seems like it. You can garrison units inside. You probably can't garrison infantry. I mean, you could, but I don't think they would be able to attack out of it. So 100 food. Let's get this upgrade and let's go. I don't think we need siege weapons. Yeah, they're, they're not going to last very long versus this. <laughs> Uh, actually, while they're going, let's just go. Let's just save. We can. Can we save over this? Yeah. And let's go. Just a click towards this castle. And let's watch. Let's watch the action. We just have to keep Joan alive. How she compare? Two hundred damage. Uh, Two hundred health. Nineteen damage. And the upgrades they affect your your hero units. That's cool. So she yeah she's pretty strong. Yeah, Archer, you got, you got no chance. Actually, just, if they're gonna run away, just ignore them. Okay, so this is fine. And then we just rally, rally knights. Yeah, you definitely need a couple archers in the back. All right, this guy's gonna be annoying. You chase him down. And we're gonna have to just get right on top of the, the siege weapons. Because they definitely have a minimum range. So let's ignore this. Actually, are they garrison? Oh no, I was like, are they garrison buildings inside of, uh, garrison units inside of the market and attacking? I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, you're, you're dead, buddy. So, oh, this has a... Okay, we just need to find the gate and walk through it. <laughs> Both of these have walls. It's like, this is going to be very easy if this doesn't have a wall. Okay, there's a, there's a gate. We just have to get our units inside. Oh yeah, this is... Or we go through this one. Oh god. Yep, that's what that's what happens. Uh, yeah, this uh, went very poorly. We might be able to salvage it. Draw them out. Yeah. The cavalry are so strong. Come on, we just need to open the gate. There we go. Follow them, follow them, follow them. Oh, they're path blocking us. Uh, this went very poorly. Yep, we are going to uh, load the save. Okay. <laughs> Now we know what we need. We need siege weapons, which they don't give us one to start off. So this is going to take longer than expected. We just get a couple siege weapons. It'll be fantastic. I hope not enough food. We just need more villagers. Uh, 
there was stone. I mean, we saw stone back here. We could send. There's an enemy over there as well. We need to scout for where we can find stone. Just send the Joan of Arc. We can also get a monastery to build priests. I mean, our siege weaponry is not that great either. Yeah, this is fine. Our walls are fine. Or, I mean, we have this. We could trade. Would they make it, though? Let's build one and see. There's farms over here. Oh! That's what they told me about. Wow. Okay, we need to send a lot of villages out here to gather farms. Let's get that upgrade. We should probably... Should we repair that? I think we're fine. Yeah, they're not happy with us either. Right, let's find some stone. Uh, archers? Attack move? Do not, do not let them bust through our gates. Okay, we need villagers over here. So many farms! It would have been really nice to, to see at the beginning. And for now, we just... Yeah. We upgrade. Get some units. Yeah, okay, these guys are gonna get absolutely smoked. Come on, guys. And we just leave these cavalry over here. So, so we have enemy Franks and enemy Britons. The English. You guys are really bad against uh, archers, aren't you? Against cavalry. Or knights. I mean, they are knights, so. Okay, workers. Not enough food. Not sure what happened to this one. Okay, what other upgrades can we get here? I mean, I think this is going fine. We could just make more... Oh, do we not have a archery range? I don't think so. Let's get man at arms. We found stone. Oh, we found gold. Let's find some stone. So you make a this for stone. Oh, here's some stone. There's also some enemies here. Which I don't like. This is our first, like, real macro mission. So that's exciting. I don't like this one bit. Let's get just on top of it. Can we save it? You think? Throwing axemen are good against buildings. Tracking, sure. I don't know how useful that is. Oh yeah, cavalry. Get back home, guys. Okay, you guys get on stone. Make more villagers. Or actually, I think that upgrade. Yeah, just make more villagers. You're gonna get some stone up here. That's not what I want. Uh, mining camp. Actually, we need wood. So let's get a lumber camp. We only have 90 wood. Okay, we're gonna have to trade for some wood. Can we even do that? Do we have any wood in here? We're gonna have to cut down like a single tree. We have no wood. I should have been more careful. Oh, we can just buy wood. That's fine. So you ladies come over here. And again, excuse me, I'm, le I'm learning. So, <laughs> put the lumber camp right there. Joan of Arc, I hope you can defend us. Let's actually send you guys over here to defend. You know, they're good against buildings. We'll just send some knights. And again, we could trade with them, but we have to 
get rid of these buildings. Which I'm not keen on doing. And again, the enemy is building up simultaneously. So we just need more villagers. And we have a couple of villagers not doing anything. Are you being attacked by the British? Did I tell you guys? Are you guys on aggressive stance? Be on defensive stance. You guys are getting absolutely smoked. Yeah, everyone on defensive stance. There you go. Uh, let's send a villager. One. Vi Actually, you guys start mining wood. Trade cart. Let's see if you can make it. And then you come and repair this building. I don't like that one bit. Are there any upgrades we can get for our towers? Uh, let's go ahead and save. Yeah, again, these games are not easy. Uh, let's just save over. Uh, you can start mining. We need stone. Forgot about that. There we go. And then you guys just go on defensive stance. You don't. You don't need to chase that. Okay. You guys get on stone as well. Let's make a sea torch stop. Yeah, that's that's not gonna work. <laughs> that's not gonna work out at all. Uh, yeah, siege workshop. Key these things up. Military buildings. Siege workshop. Not enough wood. How much wood do we need for that? Two hundred. You're being attacked by the British. Uh, you just hang out for now. We just keep getting upgrades. And we'll wait for 200 wood. Now we could actually use more villagers. Send them over here. To gather wood. There we go. Should do it. Bosa. Just constant attacks. From the side. Can we upgrade our towers? We can repair. Or we just get... Oh, we should have put the castle on the side. I don't know what I was thinking. That, that wasn't very smart. We can build a watchtower. Not enough stone. You know what? You guys just come over here. Start gathering wood. Mine gold 15% faster. Mine stone 15% faster. Are you serious, guys? Just out of range of our watchtower. You guys come back home. Can we build a monastery to heal? I feel like that's going to be pretty important. Uh, let's build a monastery. Not enough wood, of course. Well, we got villagers coming to collect lumber. We got a nice little camp out here. And a scout. A scout? I oh, know, it's a light cavalry. Will that actually attack, or is it going straight after my villagers? I think they're just scouting. And then you have the defensive stand. That's pretty nice, so they don't chase. You guys come up here, defend. You guys attack this, and then this. Again, shift clicking doesn't work. I don't know why I even try. I keep getting upgrades for our cavalry. And we have 200 gold, so let's make a... No, before you do that, let's make a siege workshop. That'll be exciting. Yeah, they're just gonna run. Okay, let's go back to base. Let's go back to base. It's getting a little hectic here. Uh, mine a little faster. Mine a little faster. Okay. I'm happy with this, I think. Right, Siege Workshop. There's no way to add it to existing hotkeys. So let's just make this seven. 
And let's see what we're dealing with here. Okay, that's not my knight. Sometimes it's hard to tell, like, what's yours, what's, what isn't. But I think we're doing fine now. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, what do we want to build? Scorpions? That fires long, effective with large masses because shot damage. Weak versus nearby units. Use attack small mass of units. Weak versus can attack ground. So what's the difference? These are a large masses, and this is effective versus small mass. Weak versus pl plus range. It's normal. I think we get the small mass of units. Just get like two Mongols, or what are they called? Manganels. We should be good to go. It would have been nice if they started us with a siege work workshop. <laughs> Cavalry archers don't really care about that. Yeah, I don't really care about. Yeah, it's only 100 food. And we just build the siege weaponry. Build more of these guys. They're good against buildings, apparently. Then we should be ready to attack. I don't like that one bit. <laughs> Let's murder them. You definitely have to pay attention to the minimap. Things are very small on it, though. I wouldn't mind the minimap being a little larger. You got it! We have done it. Uh, line of sight buildings, that might be useful for our towers. Yeah, I like how they get into their formation every single time. Alright, Palm Exhausted. I thought I had these queued up. Apparently not. Yeah, that's pretty useful. The idle animation. What are you guys doing out there? Sure, let them come in. I think it's almost that time to go. How much wood do these things cost? You need a lot of villagers. Just realizing. Uh, we have a lot of food. So we could trade it. What other upgrades are there? I don't really care about line of sight. I just want another... One of these. Three of these and we should... I hate everything. <laughs> I hate siege weaponry. No! Where's our monastery? Did we ever build one? There we go. Now they're not gonna be able to do anything versus us. We have our own. No, defensive stance, buddy. All of you guys on defensive stance. They can attack ground. Siege weaponry in the back. We could just make a lot of throwing axemen. And get the upgrades. And we should be good to go. Keep making siege weaponry. And we'll be fine. We'll be fine. It'd be cool if you could make cannon towers. It's pretty fun though. Again, I don't think we built the monastery. We have this giant cathedral. That's just taking up a lot of space. Oh man. Uh, sure, just get all these upgrades. Make more, make more knights. There we go. Not enough gold. Okay, get this last upgrade. And then I think we should just go. Hockey our siege weaponry to three. And everything else. I think it's about that time. Let me make a couple more. I mean, the battery rams are good, but I mean, we need the range. I mean, that's the whole point, right? And I think we, I think we need a monastery, though. Yeah, I think we need do need a monastery. So let's build. 
You get a university. Oh, that's how we do it. Cruise line of sight, hit points, armor, more resistant to monks. Huh. Let's go ahead and build a university. And then you build a monastery. Then we'll build, be able to go from there. Get a couple more villagers. Put them on farms. Okay. Air upgrades, oh, yeah. sure. Might as well take the time to do this. We can actually see what our ally is up to. Yeah, they're in, in the castle age. The Burgundy's in the feudal age, so they're pretty behind. And I say we just get maxed out and go. Villager created. There's some empty farms down here. Okay, there is our... Here's a university. Strength all build by providing 10% more hit points, plus one normal pierce armor, three building. That's fantastic. Villagers construct buildings 20% faster. Archers, town center, castles, galleys, unique naval units, and mounted archers fire more accurately at moving targets. That'll be good for our archers. Reach at murder holes. Eliminate the minimum range of all towers so they can fire at enemies attacking their base. That's pretty cool. They drop rocks on them. Upgrade the guard tower. Which are stronger. Aren't these guard towers? You know, we have our own siege weaponry. Fortified walls. I guess. We have stone walls, is that better? I guess throw your axes, right? You're pretty good. Let's make some knights. Not enough gold. Monastery. You guys just come over here. 50% more hit points. Use garrison and monks move 50% faster. Let's just make a couple monks. Should we just go? Let's save. And let's just go. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna be preoccupied. So let's just go. Yeah, they'll they'll come around. They'll come around. Can I tell them not to attack? Stop. We have a lot of stuff. Just make these axe throwers. They're pretty good. And then we just A-click. Uh, let's actually go on this side so we're not surrounded by towers. Right down the middle. And also, oh, they someone also left a comment saying that if you have high ground advantage, you do 25% more damage and you take 25% less damage. So that's really good. All right, Monk created. So you guys come on down. We're gonna attack from the trees. All right. I know you guys can do it. And we need to specifically tell these guys to attack this tower. And we, the rest of our units just hang out. Okay. And then we'll break down the wall and just run in this way. If we had trebuchets, we could probably attack the tower from out here. I don't know. Okay, you guys back up. Come on, don't, don't path block, please. All right, let's see how good these. Yeah, they're they're really good. Okay, everyone else, start attacking. I mean, this is what we needed. Let's just rally everything up. Here, it's going great. You're getting a little ahead of yourself, buddy. Slowly wiping that out. Even more. Imp we can make more. And then just attack the wall. 
No, guys, I don't know if that does splash damage. How close it has to be to do splash damage. But for now, just back up. We're doing just fine, guys. We're destroying the wall. So we can get in. Yeah, the walls. I guess that's why you need the battery in the rams, right? Uh, let's let's make a couple. I don't have gold. Oh, we have a couple of villagers not doing anything. I don't know why they're the idle animation. It's not working. Right. Kill these guys first. No, we have this throwing axe man. You guys kill these. It's pretty cool. I mean, the battle, the battles are pretty slow, so you can actually micro units around. Okay, this wall is almost done. It's almost done for guys. Not enough gold. Are we? Not mining enough gold. We have so much stone. We don't need stone. Nope. Your units like to run. Let's just guard. Oh, we lost one. Now let's destroy... No. This one here. I know you guys can get in there now, but... Okay. I guess let's just... Let's just go. I mean, we're dying to our own stuff. Let's kill this wall, and then we'll go. Not enough gold. Yeah, that's... That's what I was afraid of. No, every just... Just stop. Just stop. We're attacking from behind. Battering ram. Nope. Guys, just defend. Okay, let's go. It's time. We just gotta squeeze our way in there. As long as we get in there and just get right on top of the castle, we should be fine. Just go for the castle. Not sure what that sound was. A lot of it's knowing what the sounds are. No, just go after the archers. Just right click the castle. And a couple guys attack. I don't think this is going to work either. We have a lot of stuff here. What does it take to destroy this? I mean, this guy could take out these guys by himself. Joan of Arc, take out. I think this will work. Dude, these guys take out the towers, the, the castle, and then Joan of Arc and uh, the Duke take out everything else. Okay. And our building destroyer should be able to do this himself. We have another building destroyer. Another building destroyer. Can the Duke guy? Uh, no, one. Just, uh, Joan must survive. Man, this is tough! Lament, jo for we have lost Joan. Yep, let's load. We just need more stuff. Wow. I did not expect this to be <laughs> this challenging. We just need more units. You guys come attack over here. Obviously, we need more people on gold. And just more villagers in general. Let's send them down here. And I don't think monks are the right idea. I think we just need more galleys. Fire more accurate. I guess that's a good upgrade, right? I don't, I don't know, guys. Get more of these axemen. And I think just the siege weaponry. I think we need more of these battering rams. And just gold. Need a lot of gold. What do we have in excess of? Stone. 
So send these villagers just to gather gold. This lady's stuck. I don't like that one bit. <laughs> How about you come over here? Do not need to be doing that. So our guard tower is better than... Upgrade to guard towers, but we already have guard towers. Is there even a further upgrade after that? Cannon towers? We'll see. We'll see. We'll do this, guys. Don't worry. And then we can get a couple priests and just let them heal our units at home. Yeah, what's the stop move command? <laughs> I mean, this is a little, it's getting a little frustrating. <laughs> right, these are great against buildings. Infantry and foot archers can garrison. Can we garrison throwing axemen? Inside? I don't know. It might have been worth to build a town hall over here to get villagers over here faster. See why the trading cards are so important. Just more of these battering rams. Queue up some farms. You guys, I, oh, I forgot about you two. You come up here and probably need some more wood. So, you guys, collect some wood. Are we supply blocked at 75? We shall find out. Okay, no idle workers. Just double checking. No, I think... Yeah, right now guard towers are the best that we can get. We can get masonry. I think just build more of these rams. Population limit reached. So 75 is the max. So that means we just have to go. With what we have, we have to make this happen. We can get upgrades with our remaining amount of money. Our priest is healing. I think, yeah, those priests are very important. We can queue everything up. And then rally here. There we go. I think it's time though. We could kill off some villagers. But I think it's time. Let's save. Hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Actually, actually I'm having fun with this game. It's almost been 50 minutes, though. It's like, this is going to be easy. If there wasn't that damn wall and all these towers. But that, I guess that's what these guys are for, right? Throwing Axemen. Might as well queue them up, and as we lose stuff, it'll, they'll come back. Yeah, at least having, like, a couple monks in your group is... Fantastic. Let's upgrade them. So they move a little faster. Villagers construct buildings. I don't care about that. Murder holes, sure. In case they get ins inside of our tower. Okay, let's go. Maybe we can draw them out. Kill their market. Draw them out. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's just have these guys attack the building. So these guys... They're not even that great against buildings. They're great against small groups of clumped up units. I think we just hang out here. Put defensive stance on. No, you don't. You're not going to convert one of my units. Oh, even the enemy villagers have idle animations. Yeah, let them come to us. Just rally. Nice. That went very well. Yeah, it definitely does friendly fire, so. Okay, siege weapons. You guys start attacking this. Battering ram. Attack the wall. Then everyone else just hang out. Hopefully it goes well. Now you attack the wall. 
Well, let's see if I garrison him inside. He's already dying. So. Uh, it's just, I think we just need more. Uh, let's build more of these guys. They said they're good against buildings. You attack the wall. You guys attack the monk. Right, we're at yeah, population limit. As long as we keep rallying. No, you're gonna murder my own knights. Buddy. You guys take out this tower. It's quite annoying. Man, the thing about these, they're so s slow. Why doesn't it just work? Also, if it dies, will the other units come out? Can they attack inside the building? Maybe scorpions will be better. I don't know. I think we're doing fine. Why are you so... You know what we need to attack is the gate. I think it has less hit points. It's going much better. We just have to take this slow. How much HP does the gate have? Why can't I click on it? I need to hockey my oh, castle. There it is. Come on, just attack the wall. It's so frustrating trying to break through this. Unless I just get through. Just attack the gate. The gate has 4,000 HP. We're in! Everyone get in. What's the best way to t kill gates? Not lose your entire army. That's a good question. You attack this building, or just this one. We have reinforcements on along the way. Joan of Arc's here as well. As long as we keep creating stuff, though. It's a lot of axemen. We could just build a castle outside their gate. Sure, destroy that. Okay, you destroy the gate. You destroy the gate. I oh, know we're in. Never mind. Destroy the gate, guys. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Just trying to get inside. Okay, we're in. We're in. Spam clicking does not seem to work well in this game. We're inside, though. Okay, we have more units up. Keep making these battering ramps. Wait, this tower's almost gone. How's Joan of Arc doing? She's fine. You guys just go for this. Come on, attack. The building. Attack the building. Oh no, he's gonna come out. That's our chance to go through. No, what are you guys doing in the other gate? God damn it. No! Don't kill this archer. 
No, guys. Oh, because I'm double clicking them, that's why. Okay, make more battery rams. We got more stuff here. Attack this, please. We could back out. I have Joan Hockey. Oh, she's here. She's fine. You're gonna kill all my stuff if you do that. Let's go after this building. Okay, there goes down one. Joan, attack. I think we got it. We've opened, we've busted the gates. Not enough gold. Lament, for we have no! Jones. No! Joan was good to us. <sighs> she was good to us. Man, I should have saved. We're doing so well. We just need to destroy that main gate. Okay, let's hockey the castle. Seven. Oh, we, we can get some priests. Any other upgrades? Hope you guys are enjoying this. <laughs> my, my struggle. Uh, sure, get upgrades. Blacksmith is fully upgraded. So, castle. Uh, let's hockey the monastery, I guess. Uh, siege workshop, where are you? Let's hockey you to six. And then we have this group. Sure, pikemen. Let's go. Everything's gonna rally right up here. It's gonna be fantastic. We can get more upgrades at our university. We're gonna do this, guys. We're gonna do this. I know, now we can't just run in there like idiots. We have to take this slow. Slow and steady. Destroy the building. You destroy the building as well. I mean, these things are supposed to be good against buildings, right? Is that what it said? Attack bonus for his buildings. Okay, let's destroy this. We need to destroy every building along the way so our units don't get preoccupied. And then all the rallies are here. It's going great. Okay, now attack this mining camp. You're getting a little crazy there, buddy. I think, and these things are pretty good. So I think what we need to do is just have everyone attack this. All my. Every, and then the rest of my knights will have a group of knights that will go after the archers. Right, he's dead. And you're dead. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And you guys start attacking the, the wall. Uh, let's go ahead and save here. Put them garrison inside. Okay, we have a nice, nice force here. You can just make a lot of throwing axemen. Okay, now throwing axemen. Destroy this. Can we put archers inside here? Can you guys defend us? Attack the buildings. I mean the gate, please. 
Uh, let's make some more knights. You guys come up. Change our hotkeys. We can do this. But why you guys why you guys aren't attacking? Why you guys aren't attacking? Maybe we just need an attack formation. Stand ground. Stand ground. No attack stance. Oh okay. That's probably what we want. Break down the gate! Okay, so much health. It's ridiculous. I mean, we're, we're protecting them. I just want to break down the gate, then we'll be just fine. Uh, let's make more of these battering rams. You guys move on up. It's almost down. And then we'll have to destroy the towers. Okay, you guys attack, please. It's a massacre. Okay, we're inside. Go! God damn it. It's the worst. Okay, Joan, as long as you survive. We got it this time. Okay, now we're just gonna rally inside of their base. Okay, knights. Attack the archers. I guess attack this archer. I guess attack this archer. You group attack that archer. Throwing axemen. Got you slowly moving up. Joan of Arc seems to be doing okay. Okay, we need to back up. Destroy these towers first. It really needs to happen. Right, we just need more units. Okay. Destroy this tower. Now you guys attack. That dude. We've lost pretty much everything here. And the castle is, is rough. Okay, that's the tower. I think we just go for... Joan of Arc can run around and kill everything. And then everyone else just attack the castle. Joan of Arc, come over here, attack him. Yeah, the problem is they're producing a lot of stuff still. Okay. We need like a little hit squad. Not enough gold. Okay, you guys just destroy the buildings. You just attack the building. Joan of Arc's doing fine. Castle's on fire. I think we may have it. Knights. Attack him. Attack him. Okay. You knights attack this archer. Doing great, Joan. Oh, yeah. Get the village out of there. I don't know why they just left. They're absolutely demolishing us. The castle's going down. Joan of Arc's alive. Never forget that. We have done it. Oh man, what a mission. That's only mission two of the, the first real campaign. Wow. Let's see what else was on this map. Some gold here. Enemies here. Pretty large enemy force. This was our base. They even broke through our base. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh well. Yeah, I think yeah, that's that's how it's gonna be. You just gotta keep rallying. You gotta hockey your buildings, rally your troops up, and just slowly wipe out. Uh, hockey your your knights to separate hockey, hockey your infantry, hockey your archers, 
hockey or siege weaponry and just yeah just hope for the best it's a lot of fun i really enjoy that map and hope you guys did it as well that was a long video but i'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, oh yeah i forgot we have to watch the ending cinematics or ending dialogue here john prophecy that she would be wounded at orleans at the height of the battle an arbalest boat knocked her from her horse. We could not believe our misfortune. But as we carried Jean away from the carnage, the battle was won. Orléans was free. When we entered the city, the entire population cheered us on from windows, rooftops, and city streets. They fired artillery into the night sky and shouted aloud their nickname for Jean, La Boussette. Made of Orleans. La Pucelle. Well, we have a new name for her. We can check out our military stats. Units lost. Society stats. Timeline. So, are these like the giant battles, I guess? Or battle events? Yeah, the beginning and <laughs> not till the very end. Oh man, what a map. I, yeah, I wonder if all, most of the maps are going to be like giant macro maps like that. And again, I don't know the best way. They can garrison so many units inside the castle. I mean, build a lot of siege weaponry, but you need stuff to protect it. It's just, whenever there's a gated fortress, it's really hard to push into. Well, that was fun, though, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye, guys.